Hello and welcome to Hacksert. Today in this video we will be discussing about the differences between HTTP and HTTPS. So let's begin. Now if you haven't subscribed yet then please hit the red subscribe button and also hit the bell notification icon so that you remain notified each time we upload a video. So let's start off the discussion with HTTP. HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. It is an ideal protocol that is used to transfer web pages in your web browser. All right. This should be that, not hat. All right. I made a mistake. That doesn't matter. But basically, what happens is every web page that you view on the internet, those are basically HTML files. All right. Now, those are hosted in some hosting service or the other that the website owner has used. Now, what happens is that whenever you want to view those web pages, those web pages are actually downloaded on your browser on a temporary basis not on a permanent basis but on a temporary basis so what happens is that now there must be some type of a transportation medium all right which will actually transport all those web pages from that hosting place to your computer like for example let's say you have a certain file in your mobile phone and you want to transfer it to your friend's mobile phone and maybe you will use services like file sharing applications like Zender or ShareIt or you might be using Bluetooth for example. In that case what happens the Bluetooth or the file sharing uh, applications act as the method or the transportation medium uh, or the uh, gadget or anything that is used to transfer that file from your computer or your mobile phone to that person's mobile phone or computer. In this case that in this case HTTP acts as that particular thing in this case HTTP helps you to transfer or retrieve those web pages from that hosting server to your computer now once those web pages are downloaded since they are coded in HTML and the web browser is the only tool that can be used to open HTML files I mean view the HTML files in in their proper displayed manner all right but HTTP has some flaws like data is transferred in plain text so if you visit any website like wherein you have to enter your personal information like for example username or password then the first thing that you should notice is that whether or not the website uses HTTP or HTTPS if it is using HTTP and still it is asking you to provide your login credentials then don't do it just don't register or don't put any sort of personal information in that particular website and it works on virtual port number 80 all right this is the port number in which http works so let's have a look at how it works now let's say this is your computer you are using this computer maybe in your house or in your cafe or anywhere you you may be using a mobile phone as well for this purpose and you opened up the browser and let's say you visited a website that is using http in this case we are using example.com as you can see over here you it is using HTTP and not HTTPS and let's say that there is a login form in this particular website whenever a person visits this particular website there is a uh, let's say a login form wherein it is asking the user to log in and let's say uh, a user entered the username as admin and the password as this password it is in it is written in lead mode over here so basically what happens is that if any hacker who is sitting in that particular network he can sniff this data and the worst thing is that if this data is sniffed by any sort of hacker uh, listening in that particular network or residing in that particular network he can see your uh, credentials in plain text like for example if you entered admin then he or she will see admin in clear text so he or she can use these credentials to log in as you in that particular website and he or she may damage your data or he, he or she may collect your data to bully you or something like that. So the most important thing while uh, going to any website wherein you need to supply in information like for example username, password or your name and anything else. You first need to notice whether or not the website uses HTTP or HTTPS. Coming back to HTTPS, HTTPS stands for hype hypertext transfer protocol secure again I made a mistake hypertext it should be all right doesn't matter it's an ideal and secured way to transfer web pages across the internet 
as I said in the in case of HTTP we saw that it is uh, an ideal protocol that is used to transfer web pages whereas in HTTPS it is ideal as well as the secured one all right in this case what happens data transferred is secure and it is uh, basically encrypted whatever you will whatever data is being transferred will be encrypted and anything uh, in encryption what happens is that anything meaningful is transformed into garbage if we if i want to explain it in simple terms anything meaningful is transformed into garbage i'll be showing you one example so this is possible due to an ssl certificate all right so if you are a web developer and let's say you have a website wherein you want to implement https then you need to purchase an ssl certificate all right like you purchase domain hosting similarly you need to purchase ssl certificate and you need to implement that ssl certificate in your website so that it transfers from http to https and it works on virtual port number 443 so if you do any sort of port scan on it on any website that has https then you will see that the port number 443 is open actually this port 443 provides that security feature all right and as i said if you are a web developer then you need uh, and if you want to implement https then you need to purchase it's a, you need to purchase an ssl certificate but one more important thing is that if if you if your website has https then it is good but if it does not have then it will not be indexed properly in google search let's say you have a website uh, wherein you write articles or your website is mainly made on topics such as uh, let's say on motorcycles or latest release of motorcycles and let's say you wrote an article uh, about a latest release of a motorcycle and you just published that article but what will happen is that because your website does not have https implemented so if anybody is searching for that particular information your result will your website will not be indexed in google all right it will not be indexed on the first page second or third page forget about second and third page no majority people don't go over there but talking about the first page your website will not be indexed just because you did not have that https implemented in your website or the ssl certificate implemented on your website so the first thing first if you are developing a website or if you manage a website then the first thing you should do is go and purchase an ssl certificate because it is very important for your website to be ranked in google at least on the first page of google all right so this is a pretty simple example of how https works let's say for example you are visiting a website again in this case we are taking example.com but this time it has https all right and let's say you wanted to enter any username that is let's say for example admin you simply entered admin all right a d m very difficult to type using mouse so you, let's say you typed in admin as the username in simple text all right you visited the website you saw that https is implemented that means the site is secure at least when it comes to transfer of data so you typed in the word admin as your username and hypothetically speaking it will if it is encrypted then it will become something like this now i'm just giving this as an example maybe the, it will not exactly transform into something like this but we when you will be taking a look at things like cryptography over there we will be seeing how these things actually transform all right but it will be trans uh, in this case if you, the website is using https then if you enter something in plain text it will not be transferred to the server in plain text but it will be transferred into the server in something like this this garbage format all right and whenever any hacker wants to sniff that data if he or she is able to sniff that particular data then it's of no use who will understand this all right tell me if you, you can understand this particular thing nobody is going to understand a hacker is not a robot all right he is a person he or she is a person we if he or she wants to understand something he or she needs that particular thing in human readable format now this is obviously not in human understandable format right it is human readable everybody can read nc hash dollar but it's not human understandable now if you think that uh, if you let's say sniffed this particular data some way or the other and let's say you copied this particular thing and pasted it into the uh, website's uh, username panel wherever the need for the 
username is to be entered wherever the you need to enter the username then don't think that you will be logged in all right because if you entered this particular string in that username section then it will again be transferred into something gibberish something else gibberish all right and that gibberish data will be transferred into the server so don't expect that if you even if you sniff this particular data and if you try to enter that in that particular website it will you will be able to log in it's not going to work like that similarly password is also going to be uh, encrypted or transformed into something like this i'm just uh, giving hypothetical examples uh, when you will be looking at things like cryptography we'll make things clear all right so that was a quick look about how i mean http and https work we mainly discussed the differences and one more thing that i want to mention is that as i said that if you are if you don't have https implemented in your website then it's not going to be indexed in google properly at least on the first page and also recently in the google chrome browser what has happened is that if you visit any website that does not have https but it is using http then you will see that the on top on the top left hand corner where that http is written just beside that you will see not secure and a red color uh, it will in red color it will be written not secure all right so you don't want to put such kind of a bad impression on your users if anybody visits your website and you don't have anything you don't have anything that you know is malicious you don't have anything on your website that is malicious but still if anybody is using google chrome browser which is most likely the case and if that person is visiting your website just because you don't have https you will see uh, the your visitor will see not secure so that will put a very bad impression on your website if you go to our website hexer.com you will see that um, we have https enabled so if you visit through google uh, google chrome then you will see that uh, those kinds of messages are not displayed but if you go to any random website that that does not have https you will see that uh, not secure is written if you are using google chrome browser all right and if you are using mozilla firefox and if you go to any website you, that is using http and not https over there you will see like if there is any input field wherein let's say you need to in, enter your username or password or something you just when you put your cursor over there you will see a message popping up just below that saying that this connection is not secure logins entered may be compromised so that's another security feature of provided by uh, mozilla firefox and google chrome as well so that was a quick and simple look on http versus https this is very important when it comes to ethical hacking and penetration testing you need to understand the differences between the two you need to have knowledge of about the two as well you need to understand the uh, different types of protocols as well so that's it for this video if you enjoyed the video then do share it with your friends family or whoever wants to see this particular video or whoever is going to be beneficial from this particular video if you liked it then please hit the thumbs up button if you didn't like it then hit the dislike button and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing all right and i'll see you guys in the next video peace